Who is also the mother of special asset? Uh, the mother of Mufa is Royal Majesty Papa Mufta by the Mosi Loyedi. I thank you by the one is Royal Second. A fully represented by the most high chief and Aguri. The Kora State Commissioner of Olympics, completely represented by ACT. Uh, the proprietor of the Lens and Technique of Farm, the Chief Director of General of, of uh, General Hospital. Our guest speakers, lecturers here present. The principal, teachers, parents, gentlemen of the press, distinguished guests, members of our great Namoki Foundation, ladies and gentlemen, my lovely students, you are welcome to this uh, important occasion. Good morning. It is my honor to welcome you all to this important program on substance abuse and crime prevention among the secondary school students sponsored by the most popular foundation in Paris State if I'm not mistaken M.O.K. Foundation uh, The M.O.K. Foundation has long been a record of hope and progress in our communities making significant contribution in vital areas such as health, education, security, empowerment, food distribution, agriculture, infrastructure, sports, water, and small business development. Our tireless efforts have positively impacted the lives of countless individuals, and we are truly grateful to our partner and the foundation members of the for their unwavering commitment to the betterment of our society. Today, we are gathering here because the Emoki Foundation recognizes the, the issues of substance abuse and crime among our secondary school students, which are present issues that require urgent and continuous attention among the youths. These challenges have the potential to detail the bright future of our young people, robbing them of their full potential. However, with the right knowledge, skills, and support, we can empower our students to make wise choices, receive vehicles, and become better leaders in the schools and communities. I urge you, dear students, to seize this opportunity with both ends. I saw the valuable information and insight that will be shared today as our able resources for doing justice to the topic. And thereafter, you become ambassador of this important message, spreading the gospel of making health choices and say, I stay away from the pitfalls of drug abuse and crime. Your action and influence can ripple outward, transforming the lives of our people and creating a silver, more prosperous world. Together, let us embark on this journey of moral 
environment and crime prevention and business, guided by the steadfast support of the Temple Game Foundation and resource persons. I am confident that with your active participation and dedication, we will make a lasting impact on the lives of our secondary school students and build a brighter tomorrow for our communities. As we have all gathered here to benefit from this life impacting program, courtesy of Gamma Game Foundation, I urge you all to please join me in appreciating the great box of this foundation. QX, no idea, Okolola Kayoke, who has been doing wonders through this foundation in Nova, Oyo, Kwarasas, and Nigeria and Lab. We beseech God to continue to strengthen him and his household. I am equally happy to have the representative of our royal father. Here today, a represented by the council chief, Alan Murray, Alan Lebaba. Kudos to all guest speakers for honoring our invitation. It is God and our and our children to have honored. We indeed grateful. Once again, I welcome you all. As we begin this special program. Thank you. Thank you very much. And good morning, my fellow students. I'm here this morning to address you. By God's grace, this is not my first time of attending MOP Foundation program. And it has always been a narrow down to students. So this morning, I'm going to do justice to a topic we known as sustainability. Hold on, please. The French change understanding the impact of substance abuse, crime on youth, and the strategy for prevention. Please, that is a mommy in the house to allow me to use cold mixing. This program is meant for our children, and I believe other percentage of them are Yoruba understanding child. So I will mix both in English and Yoruba together for them to have a deep understanding of what I want to say today. First of all, my fellow students. I thought in my fellow students because I was once a student before I did this level. So I can speak well, I have a deep understanding and knowledge wise of what you are passing through or at this level you are now. The topic I'm to speak on on the substance abuse. Please, what do you understand by substance abuse? In your mind, we call it Tokolo and Ojoku. It's not, it's not everything that has to do with marijuana, cocaine, or anything. Anything abuse means overdose. So, I want to talk about the dictionary. It defines substance abuse as overdose usage of any drug, excessive or harmful use of substance that can, harm, that can be harmful to your health. They can be drugs, they can be alcohol, they can be food. But it can be food at times. It can be medication or chemicals. Excessive usage of all these abominations. If you use them excessively, even when other one prescribe our medical doctor, you are abusing substance. I, I guess you can understand now. It's not about me taking um, cocaine, EOE, protein, all the stuff. Once a particular prescribed thing is being overused excessively, that means you are actually abusing the drugs. So, substance abuse is not only about the drugs. It can be food, it can be medication. Even if I'm not a medical doctor, it's not a crime, but by using it, it's also an abuse. So, my dear students, substance abuse can lead to physical dependency, addiction, and a range of negative consequences. It has a long range of consequences. Especially on our youth. I advise my young youth, maybe from the age of 10 now, to go back to 20. And I'm very sure the majority of you sitting down to have a big range. So, at least any of our students that overuse excessively any of these things has a negative consequence, including number one, 
on our health problem. Number two, many mental health issues. Number three, relationship problems. Number four, financial issues. Last day, we must involve legal problems. If you can see on the high table today, the foundation of what I mentioned, there are professionals, practitioners, and of the scene. You can see my daddy, very good doctor, who talk about things about mental health. The police officer to talk about the legal issues. So, when a particular substance is being overused, you can see it has a lot of consequences for you as a student, to the society at large, and to the country in general. So, ladies and gentlemen, my dear students, the future is brighter. It's very, very brighter for you. And at this level, don't over, I mean, don't, don't terminate yourself. Even if you are an average student or a dollar student, you can still make it in life. Brilliancy is not a determination of upgrade. Brilliancy is not a bottom to riches. So it depends on what you want to do with your future. Please kindly don't engage yourself in drug abuses, either legally or illegal. And a lot of this thing is rampant among our secondary school uh, children now. Both, both genders, both the female and the male. In fact, the percentage of the female involved now are than what you can ever imagine. So please, my ladies and gentlemen of this, focus on your studies. Education is, this is still the best door to success. I can follow that. It's just a matter of time. You all try out excellently. So when a particular student is get involved in a lot of all these things, there are a lot of shortcomings from here I mean, that he or she might endanger you our life in the future. Like what happened last year now, I know everybody is conversant to the sing now, I will sing now, it doesn't stand the song. That was what we call for, okay? Eh? Okay, if you open up, who sang the song? What happened to the one last year? He was in the very age in drug and proof with the Nehemiah song, so to say, for the great information. So eventually when he wanted to work now, he found it so difficult, he was humiliated, he was victimized, he was bullied. So the extent he blessed the death and all my two races. So this guy had a brighter future, you can see how he ended his life prematurely. I pray to Almighty God, all the children here and my own children and everybody the children will not be involved in such calamity. It was a great loss to Nigeria as a whole. He got to Africa because everybody did a uh, Justice for Mubad, justice for Mubad. Now, the justice has been done. What eventually came out of it was that nothing happened to a man in his mouth. What does he The guy has done, the parents does this a great thing, the society missed him, we the fans and family we missed him as well. And you, the children of the best shop, what does that one of you can say that they missed Mubad? Mubad has gone and gone for good. I pray to Almighty God that none of our lives will come short from time. So, what are the strategies of you preventing all these things? Number one is have a mindset I'm not going to join the partner, irrespective of family partner. Please don't engage yourself in joining the partner. Your family might be poor today, you might be the partner, you might be the thing that will give a place to your family. So, why join the partner by yourself? And I find that there are most of you now are the secret society in the of you. What do you want to do it for? Which kind of security that you provide for yourself? At this level, I can see you, you uh, and I feel like an hour, my parents pay you to be ever okay to use one action. Because what better opportunity than when you, you were younger than you guys? So there's a future I get, there's a better future that is a better perspective tomorrow for you guys. So please, what you are engaged in with your book and pass excellent. Once you have the certificate, you are good to go. So what are the consequences of engaging in substance abuse? Number one, I, uh, I mean, what are those things that we need to prevent all these substance overdose among our students? Number one is education and awareness. It's not short of this guy we are doing now. We are letting you know that overdose usage of God is not good. We are older than you. We still let them pray. It's not good. Some of our experts, our, our students that were engaged in this we know where they were now. Some are in Haro, some are in Yabadev, some are in the hospital, and some are even dying. Please don't engage yourself in this So number two is family involvement. We are begging our parents of this young and Please help me educate our children that 
you now to stop it. It's not too late for you to change. It's not too late for you to correct it. By the time you are entering the university, you will be subjected to blood test. That's why they now raise the age, they give the age of entrance to 18 years. They know you now know what is right and what is wrong. If you are not up to 18, you might not be given admission as your next session. And once you are 18, your blood will be tested for drug, any drug, uh, any drugs in your blood system. So please, can you stop that in your blood? Crime. Then why will a normal person commit crime? 
when the normal person indulge in criminality. Some people may, as a result of poverty, as a result of poverty, even though the race of people that commit crime as a result of poverty, they are on the low side. But we still find out that people, as a result of poverty, they engage in criminality. They have lack of education. People, education is not only when you go to school. When you don't have knowledge of the consequences of committing crime, you may indulge in it. Or you, like you committed it, at the end of the day, you discover that it's too late. Initially, you do not know that doing this thing is an offense. So you have no education about that specific crime. Mental health. Some people do great people who have mental issues might not be able to explain between what is right and what is wrong. That may result to them committing an offense. So to present them before the law, the law may exonerate them. But meanwhile, the offense has been committed. We have social and environmental factors, e.g. family, dynamic neighboring conditions, and the type of friendship, the type of people you move with. Probably you are a good, a good boy or a good girl from your house, but when you get to it, the type of friends you feel may motivate you to indulge in what you not be or the other. That the difference between crime and offense is just a thin line. The commission is the crime board. Having committed this thing, you now become an offender. So the act you have committed is an offense. This offense also can be divided. We have felony, what we call felony. Felonious offenses are offenses that attract serious punishment. Felony is a serious crime that is punishable by more than one year in prison. Felonies are typically considered the most serious type of criminal offenses and they can include crimes such as murder, manslaughter, rape, robbery, burglary, arson, kidnapping, drug trafficking. Arson, that's what we call the GTI in the law. The criminal law, they call it arson. These are offenses that attract punishment from six months to one year. Some instances, death sentence. Such offenses are referred to as felony offenses. That we have is the minimum. The minimum offense is a criminal offense that is less serious than felony and typically punished by fine or sentence of less than one year in jail. With the minions are often considered minor, minor crime, but they can still result in serious consequences, including fines, jail time, probation, or community service. If somebody commits an offense that is classified as a minion, those ones might not result to a long term sentence, but at least from six months to three months to one month, they can be jailed for such time for the offenses that are classified under means the minimum. The third type of offense we have is simple offense. Simple offenses are also known as infractions or violation. It is a minor crime that is typically punishable by fine only without any data. Simple offenses are usually considered less serious than in the minimum and felonies and are often used to prosecute minor violations violation of the law, such as traffic violation, e.g. overspeeding, parking in wrong places. These 
are offenses for their simple offenses. They are not offenses that are can be, somebody can be charged to court and the judge will say that you are sentenced to six months, two months, or one year imprisonment because they are classified as simple offenses. And they are not all that injurious to anybody. They are just infractions. They be failure to obey certain laws, like the environmental law, or by laws. So when you go against such laws, they are categorized as simple offenses. So no one is good for a good, a good citizen to commit, but some are more severe than others. How do we prevent crime? We have defined what crime is about, the types of crime we have, the type of offenses we have, with the minimum and minor. Crime prevention starts with everybody. Security of our environment, of our house, of our society is everybody's business. It's not only meant for this us security agencies. Crime prevention is the attempt to reduce and deter crime and criminals. It is applies specifically to efforts made by government to reduce crime, enforce the law, and maintain criminal justice. Like people, people like us, we are sent to offer by, by government. But as little or nothing we can do without the cooperation of the people. We can discover that we have the vigilante, we have the OPC that we work together to ensure that the environment is safe. We have the traditional rulers who play a lot the best important to, to make sure that society or the community is secure. Crime prevention comprises strategies and methods that seek to reduce the risk of crimes, of crimes occurring, and their potential lawful effects on individuals, harmful effects on individuals and society. These are the efforts put in place to make sure that even if people have intentions to commit crime, they are not given opportunity, opportunities or they may it very difficult for them to have access to where they can commit crime. But these are collective efforts from the police, from the military, from the traditional rulers, the vigilante, the OPC, and even you. We are involved to ensure that criminals do not always have their ways. Crime prevention comprises, comprises strategy and methods that seek to reduce the risk of crimes occurring and their potential, potential harmful. Because in any crime, there is always a beneficiary of a crime. And there is always a victim. So these all strategies put together by the traditional rulers, the police, the military, the vigilante, and you makes it difficult for these criminals to get access to our houses where they bring through your door, break through your windows, to steal your valuable items. Crime prevention can be defined as the steps taken by the community, community, society, or government, or an individual to prevent criminal acts and behavior from taking place. It, is, it also includes discouraging individuals from committing crimes. Having said this, that we have criminals around us, no matter what, I will tell people now, today the rate of crime in Nigeria is reduced to zero level. That is the day all of us Back and go to our houses. I'm talking about the policemen and the law enforcement agents. It is very difficult to eradicate crime, but at least it can be reduced to the barest minimum. And that's what we are trying to do. So, all these, these crimes we are talking about, as I said, it has consequences. Now, what are the consequences of crime? The consequences of crime. 
As I said initially, that we have violent crime. Violent crime is something cause physical harm to victims. Physical harm to victims. There are some crimes that cause emotional emotional damage. Like when you see victims of rape, they are usually they are they stopped. In those days, when some people go to the police, when somebody is raped, what is so serious about it? That you, you, you also enjoy it, don't you enjoy it? But it's not this day you cannot find that such a thing because for the police, because we have undergone some training that means us to do that. It is not easy for somebody that is, is raped to stand. Because in the first instance, to report such uh, offenses are not. Is it for somebody to just walk to the police station and say that I am raped? So they are highly emotional damage. And because of stigmatization, that's one of the consequences of, uh, of crime. The victims are usually stigmatized. And as a result of this, some of them they even find it difficult to report to the police when such issues occur. I talk about emotional trauma and psychological history. Like a lady that is raped is bound to suffer all these things. We have seen it in practical sense. One of the consequences of crime is also financial losses and economic impact. Take for instance for robbery. Somebody is accosted on the road by a robber, was attacked, and was robbed about the family is cash. So that's a big impact, that's not a, a lot. If money were taken away from them, so this one is classified under financial industries. That's one of the consequences of crime. We have social and community disruption. Social and community disruption. When you go to some places that cannot kidnap, be two places, you see, the people decide to village. Decide to village for days, some for weeks, some for months. The community is disrupted. The, the market that normally is maybe five, five days will not be able to hold. The economic the situation of the, of the community is brought down to zero level. So it's a great consequence when such a thing happens. When the community is attacked, either robbery or kidnapping, people who remain in town, they find it difficult to remain in that town. They find it difficult to sleep in the night. It's a strain on the law enforcement agencies. Say, for instance, you are a DPO in a place where you hear that there is no here. You don't find it. As if no matter, because before one robbery takes place, maybe the DPO has prevented 20 robbery, but nobody will remember. Nobody will remember this one that has been, they have prevented. It's only the one that happened. That's what they will do. So it's a straight on us, on ourselves, that we are the DPO robbery happened there. Ways of preventing crime, in a nutshell, I brought it. Neighborhood Watch. He organizes a neighborhood watch program to keep an eye on suspicious activities. Community engagement due to relationship with local enforcement and community members to foster trust and cooperation. Crime prevention program. Implement programs like Crime Stoppers or Dare to Educate Citizens and Prevent Crime. Secure properties. Encourage Residents to secure their homes and business with locks, alarms, and CCTV cameras. Youth programs support youth programs like the one we are doing here today. We can discourage the youth from criminal activities. Education and awareness. Educate citizens on crime prevention strategies and raise awareness about the consequences of criminal behavior. Remember, crime prevention requires collective effort from the community law enforcement and local organizations by working together 
you can create a safer and more secure community. Thank you.
reasons why people do not report us on government news, how does it affect the individual, how the people define the terms, very clear government news, tolerance, dependence, and the natural system. I'll talk about different drugs with a different effect. This is the physical place. Sorry. I'll talk about the risk factors of drug related drugs, the amount of drug use, effects of common drugs, and where to get help for those that are already affected in our conclude. Drug abuse is often considered a stigmatizing term. Anybody that hears drug abuse is already stigmatizing that person. So, for instance, the diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders application uses the term substance use disorder, which often can be referred to as substance abuse. It's a global health and social problem with distinct conditions. From one place to another. Substance abuse is a self destructive emergence that leads to significant problems and distress. Despite the fact that people know that this substance can have effect on their health, they will still continue to use it. That's what we mean by self destructive emergence. This has permitted the entire fabric of our society, especially in Nigeria, here, to narrow it down. Remember the study with the then head of the FDA in Uganda. The age of marijuana use was found to have dropped to 11 years. It has dropped here. It is a very It is a famous of public health importance, which will get worse if we don't stem the tide. I'm happy that we have the stakeholders here, security agencies are here. According to a report, Union. Very recently, in 2023, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime conducted a survey in conjunction with the National Bureau of Statistics and Center for Research in Substance Abuse. It was found out that 14.3 million Nigerians are into drug abuse. The real reasons why people indulge in substance abuse. People take to substance abuse for a lot of reasons, but these ones are the reasons that are very peculiar to people that are indulging in drug abuse. People want to feel good, want to feel relaxed, they want to cope with stress, anxiety, and depression. People will have frustration either on marital or work. People want to Experiment, most especially with our youth. There's what we call gateway substance, alcohol, cigarettes. People want to experiment and see how. So, I want to talk to all of us here, the youth, please avoid temptation. So, see anyone engaging in this, I'm sure our last speaker mentioned something about this. Getting and focusing, we can have a vanguard floor. Are various tools against drug abuse. If you want to stay away, this goes to us. You want to take next day, you want to take for my you want to take things that will keep us away so that we can read. Please just avoid all this temptation. If you want to fall asleep, you want to increase their confidence. That's the real reason why people engage in drug abuse. Next slide, please. How the drug affects an individual. People use drugs regularly for a long period of time and develop dependence. Now, I will talk about tolerance, dependence, and withdrawal syndrome. People who use drugs regularly for a long period of time can develop dependence and tolerance to it. Tolerance means they need to take a larger dose of the drug to get the same effect. For instance, if you take maybe two tablets of paracetamol 
and you need to take up to four or six before you get this. You are already dependent on the drug and you develop tolerance. There's what you call withdrawal syndrome or discontinuation syndrome. People who are already taking the drug abuse may, at the time that they want to discontinue the drug, they develop some symptoms which is very, uh, uh, I would say, it's a conglomerate. They develop this because everything is put together as the grass and people who are nauseated, depression, they will be sleeping excessively, and this is one of the things that will require uh, us to grass and grass. Next to this. So, we have many drugs that have been classified as related to the stimulants, infectogens, or opioids, but we are going to be speaking to some of those drugs that are common to us here. Most especially the stimulants. This type of drugs include something like caffeine, nicotine, and these are stimulants, and when people take it, they become aggressive. They have this sense of paranoia. Paranoia is disorder that means suspecting people for wrong reason. We just see somebody and think this person is against me, and in fact, is behaving that person. So, stimulants is their empathogen. Their empathogen is not something that is common to us here. It's common in countries like Cuba, Peru, Ecuador, and all. But we have opioids. This one is very, very common with us. We have tramadol, codeine, pentazosine. All these ones have an effect on our system, most especially the central nervous system and the brain. This will affect the heart rate, it slows down the heart rate, the brain of the brain, and provides sensation pleasure and pain relief. Next slide. We have the Anabilons. Again, this one is very common to us here. The sweet name that is peculiar to one of these drugs, which is a synthetic marijuana, Colorado. People call it Colos. Uh, I had a, uh, had a patient, a female for that matter, who was helped into the hospital by the neighbors. Ran out of her house and ran into Started with the and on the rush car to the office. So people become aggressive when they take the product and the drugs as well. These drugs, in small quantity, some of them are medicinal. They have medicinal cannabis. There are some drugs that when you take it in excess, the effect is as on our body. Will, as we go along, I will be discussing it. Associatives. Associatives, ones are. Was that uh, we can give an example of ketamine and nitrous oxide, the common laughing gas. Okay, so these ones can be referred to as hallucinogens. Again, people hallucinate, they can have complete hallucination, visual expression. They are just seeing people that are not here, we are hearing voices that are not here. Okay, so that's the reason why I said it has to be for our training and for the PV. Drug use can affect both short and long term health, including physical and mental health. People may experience some of the following taking part in risky behaviors when they are protected by men or unprotected sex. People who drink dry we can better imagine what will happen. For example, why we have increased the rate of accidents on our road. And unprotected sex, people who are taking the drug will lose their sense of judgment. You can imagine what the effect of that can be. Check this in behavior such as mood phrase or increased aggression from one another. That is the more reason why we have domestic violence and all that. So people who can imagine somebody who is a drunk that comes back to the house and start misbehaving. To be hot, to be quiet, or to be children. These drugs are only a part of people's sleep and experience some form of insomnia. People will not be developed to sleep this mother and will not be able to sleep in the hospitals. 
cognitive and memory problems with their memory. I was reading something about incest. Incest is the father having sex with the daughter. If not for someone who has lost the sense of memory, the sense of function, uh, uh, how will you do that to your daughter? Reduce appetite and people will not be able to eat. This will reduce the whole system of such person and, and develop for who suppressing these others. The long term impacts such as liver, kidney, heart problems, and cancer. Smoking has been identified as one of the risk factors for development of cancer in our environment. The same thing goes to alcohol, it affects the liver. What is called liver cirrhosis, and the rest that will happen and the better it might eventually ultimately that person will die. I'm sure we are listening. Dental improvements. People who smoke or drink their teeth are brown. The dog is able to smile a little bit. These are some of the dental improvements that can happen. Mental issues are equally affected with people who get drunk. Food blood psychosis, we see them on the streets. People that ordinarily are very productive and contributing meaningfully to the development of our society, we see them all around. Even a psychiatric hospital. People who develop infectious diseases, most especially those who involve the uh, intravenous drug abuses. Who do not protect themselves, they develop some infections, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, including HIV. They can have damage to their legs from concern in their eating practices. There's what we call total hepatitis that can happen to people involved in these activities. What are the effects of some of these common drugs? Again, for the long of time, I will just take two of the classes that I've just mentioned. We have the cannabis. The common example here, or let me say the street name for cannabis, marijuana, pot, weed, some people call it ganja, corn, then Colorado is a synthetic marijuana. Probably belongs to the class cannabis. This may cause relaxation and altered perception and lead people to increase heart rates. People are panic and ultimately that can lead to death. It may people feel relaxed and happy, but can also cause lethargy, anxiety, in parallel, and psychosis in extreme cases. The history of family, uh, the history of family history of mental illness increased the possibility of Reactions. And this again is to lead to mental health problems such as schizophrenia. There's a mental disorder that is referred to as schizophrenia, it's an affective disorder, and when people smoke, it only affects the lungs and result in asthma, and result in the lung, throat, mouth, and even tongue cancer. It affects the brain and the way the brain works. So, regular use can make it hard for you to concentrate. Attention deficit disorder can develop and that can result in a little loss of job. And even people who fall away when they get to school, they involve in the drug. Reduces fatigue. Again, if you observe poly alcoholics, poly alcoholics. Their tendency to be able to materialize reduces. Again, I won't discuss that here for the length of time. So, when we use cannabis, likely to increase the rate of uh, use of that and to be more cancer. The other common drugs to cause here, even though it's common with the upgrades, is cocaine. Right. This 
this increased energy for me to feel happy and we confident and blessed and given. That is a nasty compound that makes you feel pressed and aware. Again, if you are watching movies to see some of those who are helping uh, okay, the way they get, and this can over to the I was able to leave the field of combustion some of those people. I mean, it's the Lord spoke and had a as a result of this. For emails, it can cause miscarriage. And again, the lining of the NASA composer can be damaged for those who are not in it. For those who are taking the injected, like I've mentioned, Last and even HIV and hepatitis infection and well. I've mentioned all of this for those who are busy. When is happening? When do they get sick? Again, it's a constitutional approach. The family is here. When you identify anyone who is a drug addict and who needs help, the best place to go is to see a behavioral scientist. A behavioral scientist will evaluate and link up to other services like clinical psychologists. We have people who are patient therapists and eventually come in at the end of the day. The beauty of this call is please, our youth. Don't engage in substance abuse. Don't engage in substance abuse. It will you and make you not achieve your full potential in life. I want to conclude this uh, presentation by putting this young man here. He said, Every choice comes with a consequence. Once you make the choice, you must accept responsibility. You cannot escape the consequences of your choices, whether that is or not. Say no to the Lord. Thank you very much. Let's let that one be 
at the back of your mind forever. We were here some months ago. Kaodeo Kola sponsored some students on the best students in education. He sponsored some students by, uh, by purchasing jam for them. He sponsored some students by paying their school fees. Have it at the back of your mind that if you don't go into drugs, you can become like him in future. Then the second thing I want you to remember, you know there is what we call A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. What do I say? H. What do I say? H. That H will not divide it into four. H1, H2, H3, H4. The first H has to do with the egg. What do I say? Egg. Ori, what do I say? Egg. If you don't want to go into drug abuse, you can use your head to become a teacher tomorrow, to become a lecturer tomorrow, to become a professor tomorrow, to become a VC, to become a state of law, to become a president of Nigeria. May you all prosper in your life. Say amen. That is it. Secondly, act. What do I say? Act. You can go into music. You can go into letter writing. You can go into writing books. You can go into writing fiction. Is it go to school? Ungigi we are talk. And so many other school things. Are you listening? You are not listening. Are you listening? That is art. You go into things that will appear into people's art. Are you with me? That is the second age. Are you writing it now? The third age. The third age is your hand. Your hand. Your hand. You can become an engineer. You can become a technologist. You can become. Uh, a cyber security man, you can become a policeman by handling gun. You can become a naval officer. You can become an army by using your hand to better your society. Are you with me? Yeah. The last one, the last one is your E, your E, S, -E. heal, heal. Because you can go into sport. What do I say? You can go into sport. You can go into any other activities. You can go into social media. Anything that has to do with your leg. Those are the four things I want you to know today and know it forever. Like I said earlier, I've asked for your phone number. If I cannot create a WhatsApp group for all of you, I will make sure I provide a telegram. You know what about telegram? Telegram group for you, and we start nurturing each other for the future. I wish all of you the best of luck in your various endeavors. You become doctors in your life. You become doc uh, lecturers. You become engineers. You become bankers in your various life. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Hello, students. How many of you want to be a teacher? All right. How many of you want to be lecturers? Lecturers. All right. How many of you want to be doctors? Very good. How many of you want to be lawyers? Good. How many of you want to study Mass communication. Very good. Hello. I am a teacher. I'm not an ordinary teacher. Forget about the issue of principal. Teachers of today are leaders and build leaders. Teachers of today are leaders and build 
leaders. And if we be leaders, we are very proud of ourselves that we are the fathers of doctors, engineers, lawyers, mass communicators, and so on and so forth. Hello, students. Are you with me? I want to give just two messages today. I want somebody to come and com I mean, complete this adage. If you cannot be there, hello? If you cannot be there, yes. I have changed that adage. And that is what I want you to invite. If you cannot join them, you beat them. If you cannot join my group, you beat them. If you cannot join those that are engaging in drug abuse, beat them. How can you beat them? You can beat them by telling them that you have future. You have something to build for your future. So if you cannot join them, you do what? Hello, I can't hear you. If you cannot join them, you beat them. And the second message is this. And let it be your motto. And it will help you. Do the right thing. And in the right way. Hello? Do the right thing. At the right time. And in the right way. The topic given to me to treat in this program is uh, sometimes abuse and criminal prevention, how to prevent criminal and such as abuse. The Lord will bless you as you are listening in the name of Jesus. And I pray any spirit of drug abuse in anybody's life shall be destroyed and cast out in Jesus' name. When you are listening attentively, I want you to go along with me and the Lord will give you the understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. So what is substance abuse? Substance abuse means using a substance in a way that is not intended or recommended or from using more than prescribed. When use a drug or a substance prescribed to you more than how the doctor prescribed the drug to you, it can affect your life, it can take endanger your life. To be clear, someone can use substance and not be addicted or even have a substance use disorder. As, de as defined in the diagnosis and statistics of mental disorder. As a youth, there's a way you can use substance that will not affect you if you follow the order and the prescription of the doctor. But if you go extra or outside of the doctor, the substance can be misused and can affect or danger your health. Health officials consider substance abuse as crossing the line into a substance misuse. Some of you, you use more than the dose prescribed for you from the official, from the health official, and by crossing the line of that drug given to you is known as substance misuse. The representative use cause 
significance important such as disability, it can cause disability or failure to meet responsibility. When you misuse substance being given to you by the head official, it can cause disability in your body or failure to, 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 to begin to perform your responsibility as duty as you should perform it. Health issue, it can cause sickness or some abnormal health issue in your life when you misuse substance being described for you from the official health, from health official. To control your substance, you have to follow the health official, how they prescribe it for you. The risk I use and social issue, in other words, of some drink, some drink, drink enough to get frequency hangover. So they use substance to get hangover, to behave abnormal. They drink more than what they ask them to drink or to take. They take more than what they to take. So it can cause hangovers in your life. They misuse, then it can, it can make you not to function enough in your daily activities. When you, you misuse the substance being prescribed to you, it can make you to, to be absent in the school. Who are able to, who are able to come to school because you have damaged or you have affected your head. So because of misuse of your substance, you can have problems in your academic. You have problems in your head. To, to the extent that you are able to function for yourself again, or useful for yourself, or for society, because of the misuse of substance being prescribed to you. I pray that the Lord will guide you with a mighty name of Jesus. So, of of substance abuse. The risk of substance abuse. When society determines that using certain substances is harmful, it places legal prohibition on the use of that substance. This is to prevent individual well-being and shed society from the cost involved with related healthcare resources. Lost productivity, the spread of disease, the spread of crime, and increased risk of becoming useless. When you misuse the substance people be, be careful you, all those things will happen in your life. If you are concerned about your substance use, Dr. Linga suggests can be helpful to ask yourself questions about the negative medical and legal financial consequences of drinking and using drugs in abuse way. That's the doctor. His name is Linda. He said he suggests that anybody, any youth or adults that wanted to be using a substance in a loose way, you should consider the legal implication and the financial implication of what he's doing by using more than those prescribed for him. Illegal substance use, generally, generally when people talk about substance abuse, they are referring to the use of illegal drugs. All the use of illegal drugs, drugs of, drugs of misuse, do move, do move more, up, move your mood, improve your characters in a negative way. Begin to behave abnormal when you misuse or you use any drug that is legally placed, that is not 
useful for your body. They can clear judgment and increase the risk of accident and injury. When you take more than the dose prepared to you, and maybe you're a youth or an adult that can drive, and you go out to drive, it can cause accidents. It can cause accidents, it can cause injury. And when you when a somebody that is a place of is a, in a place of authority misuse drug, you can call judgment and not adequate, adequately perform in or duty. The most commonly used illegal drugs are Bokori. There are some drugs that are illegal that government have placed. Upon number one is Bokori. Number two, Eori. Number three, alcohol. Number four, Nemoni, which is secret. Is all those things are harmful to your head. If you are indulging in taking all those substances, you are just damaging your head and you are destroying your future. Because if that goes to begin to react to your life, it can make you not to be useful, it can make you not to be useless, it can make you to be useless and not to be useful for yourself or family. Those substances are illegal because of the high risk for abuse. For abuse. Those others are illegal because of the high risk for abuse and dangerous side effects. Understanding the risk may help you recognize the signs of serious problem and improve your motivation to seek treatment. If you have indulged in substance misuse drugs. So when you know that you have Involved in those mental, in those substance use that is legal, it's better for you to seek for treatment from the available health officials. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. The physical health problem. Substance misuse can increase the risk of physical health issue, including heart disease, stroke, and cancer and it can lead to deaths. When you are using a drug that is not, that is dangerous to your head, that can cause, it can cause stroke, it can cause cancer, it can cause, it can lead to death, it can, it can cause a lot of harm, harmful things in your life. Mental health problem. Sometimes you also who occur with mental health problems, but they can also worst or contribute to your onset of some condition and well. It can affect your brain. When you use some drugs that is that is harmful or can destroy your life, it can affect your brain and you can become a mad person and be useless for society and useless to yourself. So please, I want you to run for all those drugs, all those things that you are taking, and it's not good for your body. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. So to, to conclude, students, I want to appeal to you that you should run for anything that you know that it can affect your body, can affect your head can make you to be useless to yourself and to society. Please, stop from smoking anything in their head, anything that you know that is not is illegal, that the government have placed a legal ban on it. Please, don't indulge in anything that can destroy your life, that can destroy your future, and can make you to be useless. You can see some people on the streets that take all those drugs and they are useless walking about in the streets. I pray that you will not be your portion in Jesus' name. I said, you will not be your portion in Jesus' name. I pray that you will not be useless to yourself and to society that mentally for Jesus. 
one that brings this program to OGS of man. If you, if you see this man, you represent MOK. Anyone you see wearing a cap with MOK, they are a symbol of MOK in our and in the environment. If you say MOK is OK, MOK is OK, MOK is OK. Okay, I want to give the closing prayer. That's my closing remarks. I want to give the closing, closing prayer. I would be lying that she would not have a This is my man, your Rahim. In that I am telling you that. Now, who do you want to start? You know who you want to start? But now, who do you want to start? You know who 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 you want to start? وأنا أعطيك أنا